strain of coronavirus continues to spread from China. Worldwide, more than 14,000 cases of coronavirus have been confirmed. Now, a short time ago, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak an international public health emergency. The coronavirus death toll rising. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. Minister Chen Shizhong cried as he announced Taiwan's 11th case of the coronavirus. Reporting the first coronavirus death outside of China. You got 19 dead, you got hundreds more infected, and it's spreading like a brush fire. It spreads like the flu. Get everybody else back into the houses, we gotta keep them there. We're doing that, Sam. No, we're not doing it because I just drove through 100 people. Stay at home for the next 17 days. <laughs> One of them has got it, then 10 of them have got it. We've been hoping and working for the best, but we've also been planning for the worst. If this thing is spreading, we need to know where it's going and how fast it's getting there. We have to proceed with conventional containment. Contingency plans for something like this don't exist. The situation's never been contemplated. Well, you better start contemplating! But what they don't talk about is the moment when you stop fighting and you start to just go with it. I have a presidential green light on Operation Clean and Sweep, and I am going forward. It is fake news. It's more than fake news. It's corrupt news. You are not having very strict knockout policy of the city because the public transportation is still working and people are still moving around. There's a high level of contagion, and we're not even counting the dead anymore. Buckingham Palace released a statement earlier today announcing that Prince Charles has tested positive for COVID-19. Trouble.